test one, two. So, welcome everyone and good evening. I'd like to call to order this inaugural session of the Town of Saugeen Shores for the 2014-2018 Term of Council. My name is Linda White. I'm the clerk of the Town of Saugeen Shores. It is my privilege this evening to welcome the council-elect and to administer the oath of office for each council member. Second item on the agenda is the declaration of offices. And in accordance with Section 232 of the Municipal Act, no person shall take a seat on the council of a municipality until the person takes the declaration of office in the English or French version of the form established by the minister for that purpose. I will be administering the oath of office for each of the council members by calling each member individually to the podium. I would like each member to read their declaration aloud individually when I call upon you and then sign your declaration that I have for you at the podium. And I will commence with the mayor's positions. So I'll call upon Mike Smith. Would you please come forward to state your declaration? <coughs> I, Mike Smith, having been elected to the office of mayor in the municipality of the town of Saugeen Shores, do solemnly promise and declare I will truly, faithfully, and impartially exercise this office to the best of my knowledge and ability. I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of this office in a biased, corrupt, or in any other improper manner. I will disclose, disclose any pecuniary interest, direct or indirect, in accordance with the municipal Conflict of Interest Act. I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II or the reigning sovereign of the time being. And I make this solemn promise and declaration conscientiously believing it to be true and knowing that it is the same force and effect as if made under oath. So thank you. Um, it's my pleasure now to present you with your chain of office. I will now call upon Luke Charbonneau to take his declaration office for the position of Deputy Mayor. I, Luke Charbonneau, having been elected to the office of Deputy Mayor in the municipality of the town of Saugeen Shores, do solemnly promise and declare that I will truly, faithfully, and impartially exercise this office to the best of my knowledge and ability. I have not received and will not receive any payment, reward, or promise thereof for the exercise of this office in a biased, corrupt, or in any other improper manner. I will disclose any pecuniary interest, direct or indirect, in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II or the reigning sovereign for the time being. And I make this solemn promise and declaration conscientiously believing it to be true, and knowing it is of the same force and effect as if made under oath. Thank you. We'll now call upon Diane Huber to take the declaration of office for Vice Deputy Mayor position. I, Diane Huber, having been elected to the office of Vice Deputy Mayor in the municipality of the town of Saugeen Shores, do solemnly promise and declare that I will truly, faithfully, and impartially exercise this office to the best of my knowledge and ability. I have not received and will not receive any payment or award or promise thereof for the exercise of this office in a biased, corrupt, or in any other improper manner. I will disclose any pecuniary interest, direct or indirect, in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. I will be faithful and bear allegiance, bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II or the reigning sovereign for the time being. 
and I make this solemn promise and declaration conscientiously, believing it to be true and knowing that it is of the same force and effect as if made under oath. I will now call upon, upon the council members in alphabetical order of their last name. I call upon Cheryl Grace to take your declaration of oath for your position of councillor. I, Cheryl Grace, having been elected to the office of councillor of the municipality of Sogging Shores, town of Sogging Shores, to solemnly promise and declare that I will truly, faithfully, and impartially exercise this office to the best of my knowledge and ability. I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of this office in a biased, corrupt, or any other improper manner. I will disclose any pecuniary interest, direct or indirect, in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Inter Interest Act. I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II or the reigning sovereign for the time being. And I make this solemn promise and declaration conscientiously, believing it to be true and knowing that it is of the same force and effect as if made under oath. And I'd like to call upon Don Matheson to take his declaration of oath for the position of councillor. I, <clears throat> Don Matheson, having been elected to the office of councillor in the municipality of the town of Sogging Shores, do solemnly promise and declare that I will truthfully, faithfully, and impartially exercise this office to the best, best of my knowledge and ability. I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of this office in a biased, corrupt, or in any other improper manner. I will disclose any pecuniary interest, direct or indirect, in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II or the reigning sovereign for the time being. And I make this solemn promise and declaration conscientiously, believing it to be true and knowing it is of the same force and effect as if made under oath. Thank you. I would now like to call upon Neil Minaj to take the declaration of office for the position of councillor. I, Neil Minaj, having been elected to the office of councillor in the municipality of the town of Sogging Shores, do solemnly promise and declare that I will truly, faithfully, and impartially exercise this office to the best of my knowledge and ability. I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of this office in a biased, corrupt, or in any other improper manner. I will disclose any pecuniary interest, direct or indirect, in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II or the reigning sovereign for the time being. And I make this solemn promise and declaration conscientiously, believing it to be true and knowing that it is of the same force and effect as if made under oath. I would now like to call upon Mike Myatt to take his declaration of office for the position of councillor. <laughs> I, Mike Myatt, having been elected to the office of councillor in the municipality of the town of Sogin Shores, do solemnly promise and declare that I will truly, faithfully, and impartially 
exercise this office to the best of my knowledge and ability. I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of this office in a biased, corrupt, or in any other improper manner. I will disclose any pecuniary interest, direct or indirect, in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II or the reigning, off, reigning sovereign for this time being. And I make the solemn promise and declara declaration consciously, believing it to be true and knowing that it is of the same force and effect as if made under oath. Call upon David Mayette to take his declaration of office for the position of councillor. I, David Mayette, having been elected to the office of councillor in the municipality of the town of Saugeen Shores, to solemnly promise and declare that I will faithfully and impartially exercise the office to the best of my knowledge and ability. I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of this office in a biased, corrupt, or in any other improper manner. I will declare any pecuniary interest, direct or indirect, in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. I will be faithful and bear allegiance to Her Majesty the Queen, Queen Elizabeth II, or the reigning sovereign at, for the time being. And I make this solemn promise and declaration conscientiously believing it to be true and the knowledge that as if it were the same force and effect as if made under oath. I'll now call upon John Rich to take his declaration of office for the position of councillor. I, John Rich, having been elected to the office of councillor in the municipality of the town of Sogging Shores, do you solemnly promise and declare that I will truly, faithfully, and impartially exercise this office to the best of my knowledge and ability. I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of this office in a biased, corrupt, or in any other improper manner. I will disclose any pecuniary interest, direct or indirect, in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty the Queen Queen Elizabeth II, or the reigning sovereign for the time being, and I make this pro solemn promise and declaration conscientiously believing it to be true, and knowing that it is the same force and effect as if made under oath. Having now witnessed each member take their declaration, each of the declarations I have heard this evening are hereby declared before me in the town of Saugeen Shores this first day of December 2014. Item three on the agenda is the declaration of organized council and in accordance with section 231 of the Municipal Act, a new council of the municipality shall be deemed to be organized after a regular election when the declarations of office under section 232 have been made by a sufficient number of members to form a quorum. Having declared the declarations for the majority of council members, I, Linda White, clerk of the Corporation of the Town of Saugeen Shores, hereby state in accordance with section 231 of the Municipal Act, the council of the Corporation of the Town of Saugeen Shores is deemed to be organized. It is now my pleasure to turn this meeting over to the newly declared Mayor of the Town of Saugeen Shores, Mayor Mike Smith.
Thank you, Linda, and thank you for uh, conducting us through that ceremony. Uh, the next item on the agenda is uh, we have Reverend Carrie Irwin here, and she's going to bring a blessing and an invocation for the new council. So welcome, Reverend Ir Irwin. If you've just come up to the mic, I think. Fine. I have been It's whatever you're comfortable with. <laughs> Could I ask you just to bow your heads while we pray? Creator God, first let us say thank you. Thank you for your many and abundant blessings. Thank you for life itself, for the measure of health that we need to fulfill our callings, for sustenance and for friendship. Thank you for the ability to be involved in useful work and for the honor of bearing appropriate responsibilities. In the scripture you have said that citizens ought to obey the governing authorities since you have established those very authorities to promote peace and order and justice. Therefore we pray for our mayor, for the various levels of municipal officials, all support workers, and in particular for this assembled council. We ask that you would graciously grant us wisdom to govern amid the conflicting interests and issues of our times, a sense of the welfare and true needs of our people, a keen thirst for justice and rightness, confidence in what is good and fitting, the ability to work together in harmony even when there is honest disagreement, and personal peace in our lives and joy in our tasks. We pray for the agenda set before us today and for the work that will be done by this council in the coming year and for the betterment of our community. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you very much, Reverend Irwin, and welcome to the, our community. <laughs> Uh, the next item is an opportunity, and we're going to give each council member a few moments just to uh, bring greetings and a few words. And uh, I'm going to start, and uh, I'll start with, and go back and forth here. But I just want to congratulate each one of you. Um, uh, it, this, sitting around this table or, 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 or being a member of council can be one of the most rewarding things you'll ever do. And uh, it, it can also be one of the most frustrating things you'll do at times. But I'm sure uh, as we go forward here... Uh, we all come to this table with the same thing, and I say it time and again, that we want the best for Saugeen Shores. I agree each one of you uh, uh, come here with that idea, and I look forward to the next four years in continuing to make this community the best it can be. So, uh, Deputy Mayor Sherman, if you'd like to say a few words. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and congratulations to you. Um, I... I made some notes because last time I did this, I was remiss and, and missed somebody who was extremely important, and this time I cannot forget because she's sitting in the audience, uh, my wife, Allison, and I, I haven't heard the end of it in the last four years, so I have to make sure to uh, comment on it tonight, but, but seriously, I need to uh, say thank you to, to Allison and, uh, and also to my mother and father. Um, this uh, job... Uh, takes a lot of time in addition to my day job, and that invariably means more work for them, uh, for Allison at home and for my parents uh, at the farm. Now, I could not do the job, quite frankly. I could not do it without their support and willingness to do that. Um, so, so I want to say thank you to them, and I also want to say thanks to my, uh, to my sons, Benjamin and Theodore, who are five and two, uh, and uh, for their support, this job means I don't get to see them as much as, as I would like or they would like, and uh, I want to acknowledge them for that. I want to say thank you to the public uh, for their ongoing support. I have uh, developed over the last uh, eight years on council a lot of great relationships with people throughout this community. And I'm looking forward to continuing those relationships and building new ones uh, over the next four years. I want to say congratulations uh, to all members of council, both uh, new and uh, returning. And I'm looking forward to uh, having the opportunity to work with all of you. You know, I see um, that this council um, faces some challenges, um, but more importantly, I think uh, we have the benefit of a lot of opportunities, uh, and uh, and the biggest opportunity I think that we have as a council is the people who live in our community. 
uh, and uh, and the place to start harnessing that opportunity is with the people around this council table um, and uh, um, I think we have the opportunity to be a proactive council and we have the opportunity to engage our neighbors in an effort to set priorities for this community over the coming weeks we have the ability to organize this council and its committees in order to achieve the community's priorities um, and I see that the community has elected an energetic and progressive council and it's my belief that uh, we can bring this new energy to bear and work together to vigorously ensure that council fulfills its basic responsibility to set and ensure that council's policies are adequately implemented but beyond that um, I think that we can work to ensure that those policies flow from an overall vision for this community and the place uh, for that vision to start is uh, is right here at this council table and us working together to set it and I look forward to working with all of you to do that um, so in short I'm excited uh, and looking forward to the next four years and um, and I think working together uh, each of us uh, can achieve uh, a lot and that we can we can build a better community for everybody to live in so I'm excited to get to work thank you mr. mayor thank you Vice deputy mayor vice deputy mayor Hubert thank you mr. mayor um, I'll, I'll continue the theme of, of thanking parents um, for the last two terms in the phone book my parents um, have received more phone calls than me for me um, because my dad's name starts with a D too and um, my name in the phone book wasn't under D so um, thanks to mom and dad I also have benefited I think greatly from um, just the interactions in the community as a matter of fact this afternoon at the grocery store in Southampton somebody over the cheese Diane do you, do you mind if I talk municipal business and um, that's that's where I, I think some of the best interactions have taken place I had a few people help me out during the campaign um, I didn't put up a lot of signs but I had a little team come out with me and put up some signs and um, the Colontes in Southampton have been good friends for a long time so I'll, I'll throw a little thank you out to them um, both the mayor and the deputy mayor have talked about um, enhancing the opportunities for people to live um, um, safely, comfortably, and, and effectively in the community. I think um, for the next um, term of council, this, this idea of community development um, might bubble up as, as a, a wonderful opportunity for us to um, revisit community participation on committees and community participation period. Um, we've had um, lots of good stuff happen in both Southampton, um, Port Elgin, and Saugeen Township through the, the good of service clubs and just groups of people getting together. Um, a few years have passed. There's some new people in leadership roles with those groups and with those um, neighborhoods. And I think um, it's a good opportunity for us to, to encourage those um, community um, groups and, and community people to, to come back to the table with, with ideas and creative um, energy and enthusiasm. I also think we've had um, some interesting opportunities um, presented to us from young people in the community. We had a, a rather young candidate in the last election. She didn't get elected, but um, certainly there was um, some interest shown there that, that I think we've got some ex experience and some expertise in the community that's much younger than most of us that um, I'd like to, to have us find a way that, that we can hear from those people more often. Um, I've spoken many times over, over my last two terms about ensuring that the community is a more livable place for people and, and that's a theme that certainly is, is important to me. Um, I also think that we have some wonderful municipal um, structures, um, i.e., uh, for example, the, the town hall in Southampton that um, you know it's, it's about time that it bubbled up as a priority. We've got some great parks, um, some of them though are not um, has well used as they should be so it's not necessarily about spending a lot of money it's just about encouraging more people to take advantage of, of the resources that we have and um, I look forward to another term um, it will be interesting with with so many new people at the table but that's just an energy that that hopefully will lead to some great discussions and some some good um, over the next four years so um, I look forward to the opportunity and and um, thank you very much for all of you coming out tonight to see us start start the term Thanks, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Diane. Councillor Rich. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I as well would like to thank my wife, and thank you for reminding me of that, Luke. Um, but unfortunately, she's left with my children, so she cannot hear this, so please pass that information on to her if anyone could. 
um, and my sons, uh, Leif, Hyde, and Ian. Um, I would also like to thank the voters who came out and supported me uh, when I was out in the community and talking to people door to door. I really uh, felt that there's a lot of energy in this town and there's a lot of uh, people that want to see it succeed, not just now, but long into the future. And I think one of the ways in which we can facilitate that is through open lines of communication from the public, from the administration, and at the council table. Because I think that when we start from positions of agreement, that there's really nothing that we can accomplish in this community. Um, and that is kind of where, where I was going with everything, with the idea of working towards common goals and ensuring our success over the, the long term. Um, there's a lot of organizations and a lot of knowledge in this community uh, where people are willing to volunteer their time and give a lot to try and make us better. So I didn't have as long a speech as anyone else, but uh, I, I would really like to uh, work together to try and make this community all it can be. Thank you. Thanks, John. Councilor Minaj. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I would be remiss if I didn't uh, also acknowledge my wife and and thank her and you, Mr. Mayor, for and, and everyone in the room for some continued patience and understanding. So to you, the members of council, members of our staff, members of the press, all of our family, citizens and friends, you are likely familiar with Lewis Carroll's Alice in Wonderland and the famous quote, if you don't know where you're going, any road will get you there. With the confidence afforded me by the citizens of Port Elgin, I look forward to this glorious opportunity to help push Saugeen Shores forward in the best direction. For almost 10 years, I w talked plenty in my opinion column about the ins and outs of municipal politics and government. Now, simply, I have the opportunity to walk the walk. Thank you. Thank you, Neil. Councillor Madison. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the people of the Southampton Ward for believing that I was a worthy candidate and in electing me as one of the councillors to represent them. I too would also like to thank my wife Sarah and my children Victoria and Nicholas for understanding what it is that I want to do. I would also like to thank the many, many people who went door to door, supported me, gave me advice and worked hard to get me elected. I look forward to the opportunity and challenges that we will face on council in the next four years and I look forward to working with this council to do what is necessary to keep Saugeen Shores the best community in southwestern Ontario. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Don. Councilor Grace. Um, Mr. Mayor, fellow members of council and members of the community, and those of you who may be watching at home, is this going to be streamed? Okay, good. Um, I'd like to thank uh, everyone who participated in our election this year, um, whether it was uh, being actively involved in supporting a candidate uh, or whether it was making sure that you were registered to vote or whether it was just making sure you mailed your ballot in. Um, this election, as with all our elections, is such an important part of our democratic process and so um, I was really excited to see um, the what I thought was a lot of engagement and interest in our election that was reflected in, I think, a higher voter turnout. And I'd like to see that interest and um, public engagement continued. And I will do what I can to make it easy and accessible for people to, to be involved in our decision-making process. I also want to thank our staff. Uh, for a very instructive and well-organized transition period um, and uh, orientation period that we've had over the last month. It's been uh, very useful. I'm sure everybody on council would agree, and I, I uh, have learned a lot already about the inner workings, so um, I, I appreciate that. And I'm looking forward to working as a team uh, to move forward uh, and to make our town, as the mayor said, the best it can be. Thank you. Thank you, Cheryl. Councilor Wyatt. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I, I'd first like to, uh, to thank everyone who supported me in the most recent uh, municipal election. I had a, a lot of support, and uh, particularly from my wife, Jean, who's here tonight, 
And uh, she, she traveled long, many miles with me as we campaigned door to door, and I wanted to say thank you, Jean, so much. And uh, to my son, Jeff, um, thank you for your computer savviness, Jeff. Um, led to a very successful campaign brochure, and, and thank you to my great friends. I see John and Marilyn, Marilyn Kyles at the back, and back safely from their vacation. And John and John was a tremendous help with my campaign, along with many other great friends who assisted me with the door-to-door -door campaign and um, placing of signs and and um, and, and really basically help, helping to keep me well grounded. Um, to the voters from Saugeen Township, uh, your support on October 27th was sincerely appreciated. And to all of the residents of Saugeen Shores, um, I will do my very best to represent you in a professional manner in a manner that is as fair as possible to everyone who lives in this amazing community. I believe that the year 2015 and beyond are going to be challenging years fiscally for our community. Perhaps, I believe, the most difficult budget we may be facing since, since amalgamation. And decreases with our trans provincial transfer payments and some major, major uh, capital initiatives on the horizon. Um, I'm, I'm not about to make a whole lot of promises uh, to the community in the early stages of my four years of my campaign with what capital projects I see happening first, but I can say to our residents that I will make informed decisions on your behalf and I will exercise good judgment. And you can expect me to be a team player. Our residents of Saugeen Shores should not settle for anything less than that around the council table. I do look forward to councils engaging ourselves with a strategic planning process, or some may refer to as a community action plan. I, I prefer the latter when we talk about action plans and something I feel is, is long overdue for this community. I am I'm up to this new challenge and I, I look forward to serving all residents of Saugeen Shores as one of your councillors over the next four years. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Councillor Mayette. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, thank you to the councillors here. And uh, most importantly, thank you to my wife, Melinda, who's in the room with us here, along with my two, two of my three daughters, Sydney and Simone, and, and Renee is at school, but I'm sure she's here in spirit. Um, much of what I was going to say has already been said, so that's the chance with going last. But uh, mm -hmm. <clears throat> I, I would like to thank everybody who voted for me, um, and I would like to thank everybody who voted, whether you voted for me or whether you voted for another candidate or whether you voted for uh, in another ward. I think it's important. And it was already stated that the participation rate was high this time, and uh, and I really think that's a positive sign for our community. Um, I I'm honoured, and I'm looking very much forward to executing the offices of the councillors and working with the councillors around the room here, and the mayor, and the de vice deputy mayor, and deputy mayor, and and facing these challenges. And Mike stated it quite well that we do have some challenges ahead of us uh, fiscally, but I think. The town of Saugeen Shores has a great deal of potential, a great deal of untapped potential, and I hope and I sincerely, I may even go as far as to promise that we will make the best of that potential and build this town into something that we can all be proud of, hopefully not just for the next four years, but for the next 40 years and beyond. Thank you very much. Thank you, Council, and uh, thank you for a number of reminding me of something I forgot to do, and I know my wife is in the room here this evening. <laughs> so I kind of, I get to say the last word, but I feel kind of trying to hide behind this. But I really want to thank my wife and my two daughters because they've uh, put up with me doing this for a number of years, and I know uh, I could not do this without their support. So uh, thank you, Donna, and thank you to the girls. So... The next item on the agenda, then, is uh, what we have is a report of municipal officers, and it's a step, uh, no, sorry, yes. I will ask any member now if you have a uh, uh, pecuniary interest with anything on the agenda, you can declare it now or uh, when it arises. Nothing noted, then the next item on the agenda is a report of municipal officers, and we have a staff report, and our clerk will tell us about the code of conduct. Thank you. The Town of Saugeen Shores has a council code of conduct that ensures that all members of council share a common basis for acceptable conduct. The code of conduct establishes general standards to augment the legislation that governs the behavior of council members. 
The code of conduct is not intended to replace personal ethics. The code of conduct for council members is attached to this report and was reviewed in detail during the orientation session held on Tuesday, November the 25th. Council members are expected to formally and informally review their, their adherence to the provisions of the code on a regular basis or when so requested by council. In accordance with the implementation statement contained in the code of conduct, each member is requested to sign two copies of the code of conduct document. Thank you, Linda. Then I have a motion that accompanies that report, and I'll read the motion. It's been moved by uh, Deputy Mayor Sherman and seconded by Councillor Myatt. It will take me a while to get over these signatures down, so if I make an error. Uh, that, we, the members of the Council of the Town of Saugeen Shores, having read the code of, Council Code of Conduct, hereby state our commitment to observe, observe the Code of Conduct for to the 2014-2018 term and agree to affix our signatures thereon. Any discussion on this motion? All in favor? Opposed, if any? That's carried. Uh, so before you leave this evening, it'll be here. If anybody wants to sign it, we can uh, prevail upon Linda again. So the next item on the agenda then is, again, is a staff report, and it has to do with December meetings. And again, our clerk will present the re staff report. Uh, thank you. So the previous council had passed a resolution to deal with the meetings in December. We've now had a look at the calendar, and it's now being recommended that a committee of whole meeting be held on December the 8th for the purpose of receiving the consultant's reports on the Southampton Street Streetscape Plan and the Port Algum Waterfront Design Concept Plan, as well as discussing the 2015 Fees and Charges Bylaw. It is also being recommended that the meeting commence at 7 p.m. Further, it is being recommended that a budget meeting be held on Tuesday, December the 9th, commencing at 9 a.m. for the purpose of discussing the capital budget. The next regular council and committee poll meeting will be held on Monday, December the 15th, commencing at 7.30 p.m. Thank you, Linda. And again, there's a motion to accompany the report, and it's been moved by uh, Vice Deputy Mayor Huber and seconded by Councillor Minaj that a committee of the whole meeting be held on Monday, December the 8th, at 2014, commencing at 7 p.m., that a budget meeting be held on Tuesday, December the 9th, commencing at 9 a.m., that the regular council and committee of the whole meetings be held on Monday, December the 15th, 2014, commencing at 7.30 p.m. Any discussion or questions to this motion? All in favor? Opposed, if any, that's carried. Uh, the next item on the agenda is the confirmatory bylaw, and it's been moved by Councillor Grace and seconded by Councillor Mayette. That bylaw 95-2014, being a bylaw to confirm the proceedings of the Council of the Town of Saugeen Shores, is hereby read a first, second, and third time, and finally passed and sealed this first day of December 2014. All in favor? That's carried. And the next item is adjournment. It's been moved by Councillor Madison and seconded by Councillor Rich that this regular Council meeting of December the 1st, 2014, hereby adjourn at 8.08 p.m. All in favor? That's carried. Thank you very much. And uh, please, please say there's going to be some refreshments and uh, stick around if you want to mingle and meet your new council. Uh, I think we're going to get a photo also. Mr. Mayor, is it a point of order? I wonder if uh, I wonder if it might be able to, you might be able to announce the first and last name of Councillor Mayette or Mayette when we're uh, seconding and just for confusion for clarity. clarity for clarity. Yes.